quick pivot, we got to give a huge shout out to Michael Chandler. Yeah. Oh, Dude, yes. What shit. a yes, fucking yes. incredible. Literally, the guy has sat for a year waiting for this Irishman to finally pull the trigger and it's it's big. Yeah, it's, it's big. massive, man. My understanding is it's not like a hundred percent done yet. Like there still has to be a couple of dominoes that fall. But With everything on Connor. But it seems like things are pointing that way. Does it um, seem like it is going to be a one eighty five? I think so. Yeah, I think I I wouldn't know the answer to that. But if Connor's saying one eighty five and Mike's on social I think media, International saying, yeah. Fight Week is that's when it's going to happen. Uh, my thought was, my question mark was, if it's actually going to be a 185. What would you think it would be? Like 175? Lighter? <laughs> yeah, 170. Lighter. If, it's at, if it's at 185, the only reason McGregor wants to do that is so that if he does win, he can say, I have wins at middleweight, welterweight, uh, lightweight, and featherweight, which obviously he'd be the only person. But He's Mike would have the only to, person with three. I just, that's not even, he, he Mike probably, what, walks around at 185. Mike is 185 right now That's like mike saying. was saying it benefits mike more than it benefits yeah Connor. why does it benefit mike more because he's more naturally built like at that weight connor is like eating his butt off to be 185 mm, when he's not on all the stuff mm. right because all you see is these photos of connor all juiced up yeah. it's so cool and yeah. so clear he's on he was on something but there's i feel like there's a whole bunch of stuff he's still got to go through the usada protocol well, they're not with USADA anymore. Or what, whichever. Whichever drug testing thing they have to do. I really don't know. I just know it's like not officially official yet. Yeah. Seems like it's going to happen, though. But that yeah. is so sick, Yeah, bro. I think it's like June 28th, June 29th. June 29th. That's uh, International Wait, Fight Week. We'll have to... I feel like that would be a weekend where, or the week that we would do like Beer Olympics. Oh, no. Yeah. We are going to that fight. Yeah, we asked. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I'm just saying like... The last year, I think we did the beer Olympics on the last week. Like, we're going to have to dictate. We're going to have to. That, that is what we will be doing. Yeah. The last week. We will be there. We Vegas. Will, 100%. We will be there. I, I bet it'll be in Bucket the sphere, list. too. The sphere of September. I know, but that's what they say now. But I think. Yeah, that's true. Why wouldn't you do McGregor? Yeah. Coming back. Here? Yeah, maybe it's like, uh, I mean, it's only six months away. Yeah, I wish maybe it was. They, I, I don't know the planning and all that, but that would be insane if it was at the sphere. Insane. God, that's going to be so much fun. It's so fucking hype. Yeah. I really, I don't want him to win so bad. I know, man. The, the, once again, there's a, I feel like there's an easy path to victory on Connor. What do you mean? Take him to the ground and sit on him for a round. Tire his ass out. Because yeah. from what my understanding, and I'm very green when it comes to like understanding fo uh, combat. But JP, you're our pseudo UFC guy. Connor's incredibly precise, throws good, and he moves really well on his feet, and he's not the best grappler. So if Mike, who's a great wrestler, takes him to the ground, wears him out, putting his body on him the whole entire time for a round, round and a half, make it boring, and then make it fucking ugly. Bro, this is... But Mike should... It's like Mike should be doing that every fight. He right. just doesn't do I it. Know, and I know! I even know. ask him, and he's like, oh, the spirit, the spirit of fighting. The warrior spirit. The warrior spirit. That's great. That's like, great. They, yes, I, absolutely. But I feel like that's all of Mike's fights. It's like, hey, he should play to his strength of wrestling here. Mm. Now, like, even though uh, Connor is precise with his striking, he's got good defense on wrestling. Like, he would have to get him to the ground, which could be a... That wears you out, like trying to take people down. If it doesn't work, it kind of like hurts your uh, gas tank. Yeah. What do you, how do you see it going, JP? Or how, how do you think Mike should go about it? I mean, I, the same way everybody else in the world thinks Mike should go about it. God, I know. But he never will. I do think he'll, I think he's going to go for more takedowns than people are thinking. Just because I think he wants a, a massive like slam. Yeah. And I think he wants to add that. So it'll probably try that in the first round and i bet he will get one yeah and then he'll probably in the second round probably stand the up thing you can't yeah the thing like for mike it could potentially be boring because i think mike needs to wait for his opportunity like be patient to try to get a takedown because if you're if you're pressing connor connor's very good at like counter striking like understanding when mike drops his head just binking him yeah like he's gonna have to wait for connor to make uh, that's 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 what i that's like Connor's my good at fighting backwards yes uh, there you go yes that's a, that's a cool line i think but like yeah i when mike sits on the bus and he says warrior spirit <laughs> i, I want to make it a bloodbath it's like all right great 
but let's say he does take the game plan into, I'm going to be the smartest way, easiest path to victory as possible. When you start hearing the boos, let's say it's in the sphere of them kind of just dancing around each other. Where's Mike's mental of being like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to have to just go and <laughs> he's going to be like, fuck it. He's going to go out there swinging out of the game. Hard. Yeah. But I think even when, if Mike tries to wrestle, it won't be boring because he does everything so violently. Mm. It's not like he's not going to be like, I don't know, like some of these other guys that just are no, no doubt. Exciting. But the wrestling to happen, I think it has to happen from like a patient standpoint to where maybe that's where it's sinking. Because if he if he tries to go after him again, not only are you making yourself more vulnerable and playing into a strength of Connors of being a great fighter backing up, mm -hmm. but uh, then if you fail on takedowns, you're you're wearing yourself out. You're yeah. wearing yourself out, and that's not where you want to be. <laughs> Maybe just take the Diaz approach and just slap that front leg for a while. Yeah. Just yeah. kick that front calf over and over and over again. I don't know. I feel like... The titanium I, shin bone, yeah. Taylor. Mike, I, Mike has a path to win this fight. It's the impatience that worries me. I mean, I'm sure he's probably thinking, man, it would be sick to knock him out. <laughs> yeah. There's so many mental games. Just, yeah. Just throw it in there. It's like we can make up this uh, uh, strategy... That strategy can be thought of. Then he's like, oh, okay, I'm going to surprise everybody by going in and just going fucking nuts. But he won't be surprising anybody if he goes nuts. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah. Yeah.